Hi there, I thought I'd do another quick video about how I organise my Vixen sequences, particularly the hierarchy and the grouping of elements. So you can basically have a tree view, so whatever you apply to the top level will propagate down to all the child nodes in the tree. So for example this all level, if I put an effect um, in that position it's going to apply to everything below it. So how I group things is I've got all the everything and below that I've got all my monochrome lights which are mainly just your candy canes and wireframes and then I have an RGB group which is where most of the well all of the color elements work from and then from there I've got like front garden trees, miscellaneous items which are mainly stuff I don't want to have part of a wipe so for example across the entire house and we've got the house, the roof elements which is the matrix, the gutter, roof line, apex, roof floodlights, then the front of the house which we've got various items and if we expand one of those for example the garage doors then we have each garage door element for the left and right and top and if we drill down to that again then we've got our individual channels uh, so there's 48 individual pixels uh, across the top of the garage door. So usually I won't apply any effects at an individual pixel level, it's always going to be at a group, uh, which works good because we don't need to know the exact number of pixels in an element, we just need to know that an element's there. So we can start sequencing because we're going to know we have a garage door and a window, we can apply the elements to it and then we can come along later and adjust like the sides of it and how many channels make up each portion of a particular element. So if we collapse that back up, then we've got the garden, the same principle, we've got a garden level. If we apply a colour here or an effect it's going to propagate down to everything below it. Uh, then we've got mini trees, so we've got five of those. Now keep in mind too, if we scroll across uh, probably this wasn't a good sequence. We'll go to the house level. Uh, okay, here for example we've got a, a wipe effect. When that's at a particular level, that effect is then going to propagate to everything below it, as well as the colour. So we're getting a red plus a uh, white highlight which is chased over it. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind when you're de designing your layout. Uh, if you want to see this sequence look at the LEGO um, 2015 video. I won't play it from here so it doesn't trigger the music copyright. So if we scroll down... So yeah usually everything's grouped under this RGB level because I want all the colours to apply. There's also a couple of extra uh, wall wash floodlights that I don't want to be part of a normal sequence so I've got those individually done separately. Uh, same with this miscellaneous white which is used for uh, signage so it just pulsates to the music but again if I'm doing a sequence to change colour or do an entire house wide or display wide wipe effect like we got here I don't want those uh, particular channels affected. So last year we just had these four channels set up. If this year I decide I need another white channel I can come along and then add another node in here within the display editor and it requires no resequencing because it's going by what's on this level. So as soon as I re-render the sequence and export it using the Pi Player export it's going to recalculate that I'll have another channel add it in there need, if need be. Um, the other thing we've got is the dump track. That's basically when I'm copying and pasting around if I need to uh, temporarily shift it out of the way while I'm reorganizing something it usually ends up there. Like we've got these couple of pulses they obviously didn't make the cut. That's uh, just a logical channel it's not mapped to any controller it's just for copying and pasting and same with this uh, video sync thing, this is another thing that's not connected to any real elements, it's just a matrix that I have within the software uh, or the, the preview 
so I can um, import a video using the one of the uh, Nutcracker video effect. So I dump it to that matrix just so when I'm playing the sequence in the editor, I can see a particular video frame that I'm up to. So I can sequence the lights to the video. Um, so yeah, that's how my display works.